Okay, in this video, I just want to give you a few pictures first of the install of doing a backhaul to feed a RV park that has 50 spaces in it. They had no internet unless you had a hotspot or some kind of a uh, dish, uh, huge net or whatever to be able to get internet in there. There was no DSL telephone lines, cable, nothing. All right, in this photo here shows just a little layout as I was putting it together. That one's just another angle. There's wide open that you can see where to lay out the modem, POE, um, switch that's mounted on the wall, checking the speed since over to the left is the box of the internet that's coming in to the home. That's the AP that's sending over the internet to the RV. That's where the cable comes up to the shop there as I buried it all the way 101 feet from there. Then it goes next to the fence. It continues on down the fence to keep it out of the middle of the yard in case they need to dig or anything. Goes right through the wall underneath the vent. You see that little black dot there? That's where actually that's the cable going in. It's underground. And that's after I put dirt so it'll be completely underneath. This is where the cable comes up to the box. That's another angle of the CPE or the AP that's sending over the internet to the RV park. That is the temporary setup just be able to test everything. This is testing the speed of the modem. This is drilling a second hole so I can actually give the client at the home actually internet for letting us put all this on their home. Now I did work all day before this and it pretty much killed the battery on the drill and I did not charge it overnight so I did not and could not get all the way through this mortar. The bit is long enough to go all the way through the mortar and it almost gets there before it dies and I have less than an inch to actually get through the mortar. It almost makes it. And the battery just gives out. I try forward. I try to reverse. Nothing. It didn't even have enough power to even get the bit back out of the wall. I had to charge the battery and come back. But that is the temporary setup. That I have just to get everything to the internet so it will tie all the APs and the CPEs to the UISP software. Got the uh, cable tied, clothes hanger, get ready to go up, pull it through the floor. So, let's go pull some cable. Now this is the cable that's going to go onto the switch that will give her internet in her home. And she's got to leave so I was not able to put an end on it and all that. There was no reason to because I couldn't go back inside to put an end on it. So I just wrapped it up in there and just left it in the box and I'm going to come back to her home next day and actually put an end on each side put the router in her home so she can have internet put an end on the outside 
and I got to put a router outside, replace that switch, which would be an Edge Router X, the full port. Actually, five, but it only gives you four. Um, so it can actually control the speed that I want to give her on the router that's going to be in her home. 